We haven't shot a house in a while, so we thought we'd come back with a bang. Bang, Adam? Yeah. Bang. Bang. This house we're going to show you today, it's just finished its completion. It's been about three years in the making. It's a house of the future and got some crazy stuff in it that I've never seen before. I guarantee you've never seen before. Let's go check a look. We've seen these before, but you don't see them very often. Very cool turntable. You know what makes that extra special? Look at the level that it's on. Yeah, it's, it's not flat, is it? sort of had to build it on an angle. But isn't that cool? That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great touch because you can come in, spin your car around, back it in, everything looks nice, and then you just drive out. There you go. And if you ask nicely, if you pay full price for the house, they'll throw the car in. Really? I don't know. But let me tell you about the house before we go in. So it is six bed, it is nine bath, and it's $22,500,000 and it's got some very cool features in it. The house of the future. Come on, let's go. I know what you're gonna say. Big door? Huge door. Huge door, this door is bigger than my door. This door is bigger than any door we've seen. It's, it's, it's like two feet higher than mine. That's huge. This is enormous. Unbelievable, let's go in. And it's also heavy. How about that for a view? Very nice. So this is the entry and it is very grandiose. This is the hangout area when you walk into the house. It's enormous. I like this little like drop level. I do too. I do too. It's just cozy and I like this. You go up and then you go down to Adam's favorite place in any house. Yeah. The bar. Are you still drinking? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what do we got here? Whistle pick. Whistle pick. Whistle pig? Whistle pig. Whistle, yeah, whistle pig, yeah. Cinzano. I've not seen that in forever. Everywhere you go in Europe, you see Cinzano and Martini. They look the same. Let's see the house. Very fun though, right? This is gorgeous. I yeah. like the fact that we've got this open plan feel, but the drop level just separates the living room from the kitchen. It's cool. Wait till you see the kitchen. I've had a sneak preview of the house and it's got some things, like I said, it's crazy. So the house has been built with special lighting. It's called the Darwin system. Have a look at this, Adam. So um, it's not just the lighting, is it? No, no, it's not. But I was going to come to all the other things. But the lights adjust during the day and night to keep it as close to natural daylight as humanly possible. I don't know how it works. I'm not even going to try and go there. But I do like this. Do you see what it says? PM10. PM10. <laughs> and it's 36%. I don't know what that means. Come in the kitchen. Okay, you gotta start with this. Never have we seen this in a house, including the one. You ready? Yeah. This is a walk-in fridge. Oh my <laughs> word. So here we are, it's chilly in here. <laughs> walk-in fridge. How about that? I love that. Isn't that fun? Okay, so check out this kitchen. Everything is stainless steel. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I do like it. This is a true chef's kitchen. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is as, I guess, as industrial as you'd want in a house yeah. without going overboard. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven burners and a Hot griddle. Plate. Wow. So beautiful. Oh, that's interesting. So these are, these are drawers. Yes. So they put stainless steel fronts on. Yes. But they've got the regular actual drawer. Where have you seen internals. that? Internals. Do you have that? Yes. I've never seen that. Yes. Oh. Mind you, I don't shows, really go through your drawers. Shows you, yeah, shows you how much attention you pay in my house. But isn't this beautiful? And it contrasts with this lovely wood. This must be a dishwasher. It is indeed. Look at this view while you're washing your dishes. Not bad, huh? Do you remember I broke one of these? <laughs> the at, ones at, in at Niles, Niles house. house. Nobody needs in a house. No, no, no. You're going to push the button, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's carry on. This is gorgeous. And again, you've got all these beautiful cabinets above as well. It just blends in. I like this, how they've got the, the little roof above the breakfast nook. It's very cool. All right, let's go see some more of this amazing house. How about the sausage? We didn't talk about the sausage light. It looks like a caterpillar, doesn't it? It does look like a caterpillar. Wow, each one of those is an individual bulb, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. All right, let's go. A lot of house to see. Do you want to go outside? Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. What a gorgeous day. Outside kitchen. And then, how about that? You lay out by your pool, or in your pool, 
Isn't that fabulous? Okay, so from here we can see Malibu Hills yes. up there. So that's all Malibu Canyons, Malibu Hills. Yes. And as you come across, you've got downtown Santa Monica down there, Century City in front of us, Venice Beach, Marina del Rey over the back. Look at you. All the way down to the South Bay, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, Pacific Palisades all the way in the very back. No, Palos Verdes, sorry, all the way in the very back. And if it was clear... A geography lesson. You'd see Catalina. From Adam Swords. You're welcome. Are you a historian I'm not also? Even, I'm not even from here. <laughs> this street, by the way, is one of the most prestigious streets in Beverly Hills. And there's a lot of celebrities that live on this street, but I won't mention any. Okay. I could mention some. Go for it. Sharon Stone. I met her in Marrakesh in a swimming pool. You met her in Marrakesh. <laughs> How random is yep. that in, in a swimming pool? In La Mamunia, the hotel, I was swimming in the pool and she got in and swam the other way and I had no idea who she was because I was 18. Wow. Yep. Okay, so I am not going to go, you just topped my celebrities <laughs> on the streets. And... <laughs> I also met Dame Judi Dench in the same hotel, in the lift, and I was drunk. And she I, does not live on the street. And I made her take a picture with me. She was great, James Bond. Yeah. All right. So, so now, we won't go in it because me and elevators don't get on in houses, but this is a glass elevator and it uses... Um, Electricity. Yeah. <laughs> it goes three floors. Perfect. Office. Beautiful, right? Yeah, lovely view. Little restroom with a shower, which is very nice. I never understood why you'd put a shower in the middle of a house that no one will ever use, but a lot of houses do it. Well, including I mean, me. It's off the like office where you'd have your computer, right? And? Oh, just, you know. In case You're you... gonna say something nasty, aren't you? Here we have lovely bedroom. Nice, adequate for somebody coming to stay for a few days. Yeah. Nice bathroom. Fabulous view out the window. Yeah, have a shower looking at the ocean. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. And then here we have another bedroom. Okay, so you can have two guests come. Or you can have family. Just another thing hanging over your head. Closet there, bathroom here. Oh, before we go any further, this floor, so we've been told, is an ergonomic floor. And what did they say? Uh, it's supposed to be good for your posture. So it's walnut, but apparently whatever they put underneath it is supposed to be good. Very for good for your posture. your posture and healthy. Everything about this house is built on healthy things. So it has a HEPA filter and it has it monitors. Has multiple HEPA filters. And it has monitors for CO2 levels. It does? Yeah. So it will actually monitor. So on that screen that was telling you what the CO2 levels were in each one of the rooms. And it changes it as needed. Okay. I'll check that out. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I love that. Do you think it works? No, I think it's a replica. How can you tell? I just, I think it is. No, maybe it's real. The seat certainly seen some uh, use. Or oh, made to look like it has. Yeah. So here we have a wine room. Oh, chilly in here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I like this. Continue, continue. It's very vast, isn't it? Like, it's huge. Look how wide this corridor is. You know, if, if they had pulled this wall out by another three or four feet and given you more space. You could have had you, more rooms. But you still wouldn't have felt like this was narrow. No, this is huge. And this is just like a hangout area, right? There's some very fun stuff coming, stuff that you've never seen before in your life. There's a couple of rooms coming that are very different and very fun. Okay, so here we have very nice loo. Very nice loo. This is lovely. I really like the backlight behind that mirror. Yeah, it's Little cool. touches like that just really make a difference. Very nice. Okay, let's spider. go. Let's go this way. That's What's what? That's spider. Oh, why? Oh, he's it, got a baby a, one, though. I think there's a daddy long leg. It is, look. Should we get him? No, no. <laughs> no, no. Just. <laughs> it's, crickets it's in here. Very happy. Just <laughs> leave it Leave it be. Okay. Another guest room or kids' room. Very nicely done. All the communal areas, they've made them very big and the bedrooms, they're not huge, they're not small, but they're smaller than one would expect in a house of this size, right? Fun stuff. Here's a theatre. 
Oh, Twizzlers. Do you think they'd miss a pack if it's... Nah. I like Twizzlers. Red vines. Remind me when we're done with the video to come and get one of those. You just take one now. Pop it in your back pocket. Lovely screen. And I think behind you might be the equipment. No, not there. To your left. In here? Yeah. Is it? Uh, I don't know. It goes in quite far. Woo! Oh, you... <laughs> I freaking hate you. Yeah, so the equipment's in there, mate. Hate you. You will pay. I will have redemption. You will pay at some point when you are least expecting oh, it. I can't wait. Oh, I'll get you. <laughs> I'll get you. All right, so elevator, garage. This is fun. Three car garage that leads to the turntable. Yep. You ready? Ready. Okay. This room here is a first for me in my entire life anywhere. Yep. Haven't seen one in a hotel, haven't seen one in a house. It is a Himalayan salt room. Take a step in there. Okay. Mm. This is salt, Himalayan salt. Yeah, and it's 104 degrees according to what I'm reading here. Should I taste it? Sure, I dare you. Oh, you oink oink. Mm hmm. That's salt. Yeah, that's salt. Oh, that's very salty. You sit on a mushroom. <laughs> I, I don't want to walk on it because I'm wearing shoes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dirty or contaminate it. But you sit on a mushroom. That's really salty. Look, mate. look, this is the floor temperature 104 degrees. Yeah. And you make this incredibly hot in here. It's like a sauna. What are you doing? Touching. So, this is one of those futuristic things that's supposed to be incredibly healthy for you. You sit on a mushroom. Uh, what's so funny? You, you and your mushrooms. Sit on a mushroom, crank up the floor. I've never said that before in my life. And then inhale and then feel well. And yeah, when you come out... Eat, don't eat it though. No. When you come out, I hope you suffer for that because you made, made me have a like a <laughs> boo-hoo moment. Okay. Come out and you sit on the bike and you do your whatever it is you do. I don't know who's been sitting on that bike, but it looks like they enjoy riding way too much. <laughs> Okay, so when you come out of the Himalayan salt room, you then have your massage. So the masseuse is waiting for you. And when you're done, you have your hairdresser do your hair. Very fun, right? Yeah. Very, very fun. And then, of course, after you look beautiful, you go and mess it up by going in the sauna. Maybe yes. I got the order of doing things a little bit higgledy piggledy. So yeah, this is a traditional coal sauna. This is an infrared, whereas the Himalayan salt room is. This isn't infrared, this is coal. It's almost like I just said that. Did you? Yeah. I thought you said this isn't a true. Hey, behind us, we have a rainhead shower and a steam shower and this. And then here we have a do not use loo. There it is. How cool is that? It's such a nice so space. This isn't is it? a amazing space. I mean, a really amazing space. Massage your hair. Do you know what it's missing? A bowling alley. No. Uh, a cold plunge tub. Cold plunge tub. Yeah. Yeah. I think I saw one of those in the cupboard. Did you? <laughs> All right. How cool is this? Very very nice. What's in here? A cold plunge tub, Adam. <laughs> it's a closet. But you can put your cold plunge tub, and there's a mirror here. There is. And a TV. There is. So cool. So here, you come up the stairs, greeted by a little rec area, right? Just chill. Look at the light. It's a tree trunk. Wow. I like that. I do too. Very fun. So this is a fabulous master suite. And then we have a very special bathroom. Two loos, one there and one there, his and hers. And big shower with a TV in it. We've never seen a TV actually in the shower before. We haven't. And this is a steam shower, and of all the things I've seen in showers, I've never seen one of Ooh, these. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 
But it looks like it dribbles onto the TV. It does, but I don't think you worry about that when you're in the shower, right? No. But how cool is that? What a gorgeous and shower. And that's for the steam. And also, the fact that you can just step out of your shower outside yeah, of you the deck. Yeah, it literally has an open door. I know. Slider. That's amazing. So this is one of those fancy things here. There's a TV in here. I don't know how to switch it on, but this button here, it changes the lighting to natural lighting and good morning lighting and <laughs> whatever it does. And it blasts it, away it, the wrinkles. It, it also does it automatically depending on how it feels. There's that tub you were talking about. Look at that, isn't that cool? I know. That's a four person tub. That'd be very cozy, but wow. On we go. Check this closet out. This is a Michael Tech closet. Yeah. Really like this closet. It's beautifully this done. It reminds right? me of a boutique somewhere. I think that's the, that's the key. If you want to build a really nice closet, get someone to design it who designs actual realty, uh, re <laughs> retail stores. Yes. Because that's what this looks like. Yes. Come this way and I shall show you another one. Not in there. <laughs> the, the, this is Adam's closet. <laughs> I, I swear there was a second closet. Must be here. No. No, that's a... That's the poop closet. That's a poop closet. That's, that's the water closet. Wait, I knew, I knew there was another closet. I don't think so. Maybe I'm mixing up with another house. I think you are. That I saw recently. I think you are. Oh, well. Okay, let's continue. Wow. It's wow and mega wow, right? Let us know in the comments. Would you like us to tour this house when it's finished? 38,000 so you know, square feet. 38,000 square feet. 38,000 square feet and very expensive. And we'll tour it. If yes. this video gets 150 million likes. This house has some crazy features in it too. All right. Those are fingers. <laughs> oh yeah. That's creepy. Here we have like another little snug area. Beautiful with a balcony. So this, I would definitely put a TV in, and this would be like a great kids' TV room. It'd be brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then here we have another bedroom and a lovely bathroom with a crazy sunset coming in over the sea. And then there's a roof deck. This is the only part I didn't see. I wanted to see the view. Okay, let's see. Whoa, that's bright. I always wear sunglasses, and today where it's super bright, I don't have sunglasses. Whoa, look at this. Oh man, that is sick. Yeah. Haven't said sick in a while, have I? I mean, truly, you're not overlooked at all. I mean, there's people on that ridge, but they'll have to have big binoculars. You need a telescope. Yeah. Wow. So guys, I hope you love this video. Hope you love the house. It's tremendous. It's futuristic. It has a Himalayan salt room mm -hmm. and Adam ate some of the salt and now he feels really sick. <laughs> He told me that when there was a cut, he didn't like it. That salt wasn't very nice. Well, it's not meant to eat. I wonder it's how many to... people's sweaty feet have been on it. Yeah, and you asked for that. It was a bit salty. That's because you were rude to me and you gave me a shock. Mm -hmm. Had you not done that, nothing would happen. Anyway, that said, go to producermichael.com, which is the Producer Michael Boutique, and I got that wrong. Producer Michael Boutique is at producermichael.com. We're in it to win it. Hello, goodbye, what have I missed? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I should say that at the beginning of videos. Wrist check. Wrist check. Shiny. Oh, look at it sparkling. Nice, yeah. right? Yeah. There we have it. Bye. <laughs>